Hey YouTube, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys a quick, easy, and affordable way to clean those makeup brushes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get you a bowl. Grab you some dishwashing liquid, any kind that you like. I picked this one because it smells good. And some olive oil. You can use any kind of oil that you like, but I normally use olive oil. And I use a Real Techniques brush cleaning pad. You don't have to. You can use your palm, but by the time you're done with that, you're going to be pruned. So you're just going to mix your dishwashing liquid and olive oil up in the said bowl until it starts to like come together. I know it doesn't really like mix well, but it'll start to look, it'll start to do a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? So this mixture works for powders and creams. This brush in particular I use for like cream contour. And the first thing you wanna do is add a little water and get the swirling girl. Swirl that brush all around. And these different sized like bumps in here depends on like the size brush, but I just run all my brushes through all of these bumps just to make sure it's extra clean, you know what I mean? Can't go wrong when it's extra clean. And you're just gonna wanna keep swirling and rinsing this until you, you stop seeing makeup come out of the brush. As you go, you will notice that the water will just be like sudsy cause there's no more makeup in there. And you wanna make sure you rinse and squeeze all that soap and water out of your brush. You really wanna make sure the soap is out, but the water will damage your brush if it gets down to the like feral part. And when I'm done, I take this and swirl it on a towel to get any more excess water. Let me show you guys one more again, one more time. One time for the one time. Just repeat that same process, dip your brush in and get the swirling and swirling. This brush I use for like brush and like powder products. So it was a little bit easier to clean and it wasn't as much makeup in there, but you get the gist. Just keep swirling, girl. Just swirl until you can't swirl no more. Don't forget to squeeze that water out, y'all. Squeeze that water out. This mixture also works for like sponges and stuff like that too. So same kind of concept, except you're gonna coat this entire sponge and coat the whole thing. And then rub that soap in and then begin to squeeze underneath the sink. Look at all that makeup that's been coming out. Oh my God, ew. This sponge with a little rat cheetah, she got a little crusty. But please wash your sponges, please. Or you will break out. Just keep squeezing. Be careful with how you like squeeze this and press your nails into it because you'll start to put holes in your sponges. But voila, magic. As you can see, that thing clean, honey. This solution works so good. And this last step is optional. You don't have to, but I do. Um, all you need is some hand sanitizer and a paper towel. And squirt the hand sanitizer on said paper towel. <laughs> and just run over the feral part of your brushes to clean like the handle. And you're gonna see why I'm doing this in a minute. If you do other people's makeup, you're definitely gonna wanna not skip this stuff. Look at all this dirt and germs that came off of those brushes. So now that all my brushes are clean, you know what I mean? I can go to bed happy and content and know that I will not be breaking out anytime soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and keep glowing.